What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Female Grey Jedi Edition. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's deal with this. Good, good. Let's have a word with... I'm gonna I don't think I can talk to Mission. Hey there. It seems to me that if you don't, I don't see the Sith Lord standing. I've seen, I've read that. Okay, cool. Nothing new, but I think we can talk to the Candy Man. See if he's processed a little bit. Yeah, what do you want? Korriban is a Sith. Rumor, you have any? Hey, a real? There any? I, I thought we could talk Statement. to him. Statement. HK. Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Find it distressing. Statement. Of course, Master. You are the one who created me, meatbag or no. And while you may not be all you once were, I am grateful for my existence. Am I very much like the revenue knew? Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Do you know anything about the Starforge? Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. What can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Why the meatbag references? Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. All right, uh, so Malik was the original meatbag. I like that idea. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. That'll be all. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Awesome. All right. Well, we got to talk a little bit more about him. Now, one thing I want to check, actually, real fast, is... what? Okay, I have... It's only giving me one. Sith Crystal... What's the difference? It's more green, isn't it? Wait a minute. What happened? Where did my lightsaber go? Wow, this is actually really good. Hold on, look at this. Solari? What's Upari do? Let me see. So it does two attack bonus, blaster deflect, and it does a damage bonus of one to six. Where Solari is attack bonus four, damage bonus two to six, and then energy. So it does, it's better. So wait, let's see. What was the other one? Upari again? So four to 34, and the Solari, four to 36. And then we get plus dark side attack. Which is what we're about to be doing. And then Sigil. Is there anything better than the Sigil? Which is attack bonus 2. Damage 1 to 8. Attack bonus 2. Damage 1. No. Apila. Massive criticals. Furkran. Just making sure. Upari. So this one's 1 to 8, but this gives you 1 to 6, plus Blaster Bolt increase. So you sacrifice that. So it's 4 to 36 as opposed to 4 to 34. I think I'll do the 4 to 36. Cool. We'll leave those. Good. Good stuff. Alright, let's have a word with everybody else.
To mention your wife. I don't want to talk about that. Well, I do. Spit it out already. Now that's a unique method of getting someone to talk. Thunder about like a bantha in a circuit shop. Does that work for you often? Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Is that why you went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> Partly, maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Well... Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be men in your life, perhaps many men. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. That's what I've always thought. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. You mean not anymore, right? Nope, never was. Technically, I never rose above the rank of Padawan for various reasons. Does that surprise you? Not really. Not the way you describe your past, no. I suppose I'm not prone to live my life like most of the Jedi Masters do, that's true. My opinions on love are no different. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with a bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you? Uh... So that happened between you and your wife. I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. Alright, we'll see if I can talk to him at all, because we're not gonna have much time left. No. Alright, well that's that's good there. Don't have anything to say for Zalbs. How about you, honey? How may I be of assistance? I think we're done with her, actually. How about Karth O'Nasty? Oh, yes, I went there. We gotta ask him what he thinks. Yes, what's in? Do you, do you think you'll see him again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for... All your help. You bet. Yes, what's... If you're ready to talk... I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my... For my wife. For Telos. For Dustin. But I can't. Why can't you? I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. 
And if I make the wrong choice? Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. All right, well, that's all he's got to say. Let's see if we can... Let's go to Tatooine. There we go. Again? Incoming fighters. I think I got... Oh, I missed quite a few. Ah, turning with the mouse is harder. Come on, die! Got him. Oh crap, he's gonna fly over me. Which way is he going? Turn, turn! See, I'm trying to turn it fast, but it's not working. Come on! Got him, finally. That's just such a waste of time. Anyways. So it does let me go to Tatooine, which is nice. Now let's hope that, uh, what's his, what's his name? Griff is going to be here as well, and he's got my down payment. I guess I could have invested in him, but I was kind of paranoid. Let's bring Mission as well. I'm gonna give her just Benji armor. Hopefully she can. Can she even wear it? She's got a couple level ups. Cracking that twenty. Gearhead, is that worth it? Not really. What level is this? 17. So she's still got a couple of these. Tell you what, let's go for, try and get like a power attack. Oh. Well, shit. My bad. Alright, well, what do we got for her? There you go. Fiber it up, mission. Fiber it up. Awareness demolitions, light scan. Sonic Nullifers. I'll give her that. Strength Boost. Just a shield. Doesn't really matter. Good. Let's bounce. Sorry about that. Anyway. I wonder... I can't remember if you can open that package... Know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean... This guy better be there, man. He's, like, wasted my time long enough. He's not there. Arrgh! I don't think he'll ever get there. Honestly, it's not worth it. He ran off like a little bitch. I honestly think he's done. Oh, whoops. Is this it here? I'll go in and I'll save it, because I don't really know. Nico. Saving. 25. I'll save here. Ah, I have a box. This is, oh, that box. Take a do turn am I over the box? Of course I did, wouldn't you have? Maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking you didn't. You're standing here delivering it to me. Suppose you're expecting some payment now, huh? I'll give you credits. Two thousand. Spend a little more. You're fool enough to open it, but I like your backbone. There we go. Out of curiosity. Isn't it one second. Actually, I'm gonna load. I just saved it, so let me see what where's on the ship. 
Tell you what, we'll load. We'll wait. Where did I say? We'll load this. No, no, no. Sorry, this. And I'll like go back to the ship real quick and see if I can open it. If it's not worth it, though, we'll just take the money and run. Okay. Yes. All right. I think I remember this. Something else. Someone. Someone. Something else came into my prison already. It's a very long time and nothing. It's time spent of three months in here now. What's your luck? Let's have a look at you, human biped. More or less symmetrical, fair, far less hair than the last one. Opposable digits, mostly water. Mind telling me who you are? Prisoner here, as, as are you indeed, though I suspect by accident rather than sentence. My own people put our criminals in little cages like this, well, our minds anyway, for real terrible criminals like our mind get locked away. How long have I been in here now? Hmm, one, two, no, longer than that. What'd you do? I led a war. Well, a rebellion, really. The details would hardly interest you. Many of my kind died, and I'm responsible, or so they said. So no way out of here? Well, now that is the most interesting question. Yes, yes, indeed. I've been here long enough to ponder that. How many years? A thousand, ten thousand? I can't even remember. Point is that I know a way out. What a clever little prison. Interesting, would you say? I don't suppose... Let me guess, there's a catch. Isn't there always... There's only one place that I can escape to, and that's your body. Mine, I'm sure, is not available. Now, before you go... You know, so let me tell you that I can't go jumping into your body without our willing agreement. You can't go jumping back to... Okay. Look, you're not getting in my body. And I already say that I could only take your body if you were willing. Yes, yes. It's like this, dear Sandy. If you like, we could spend the next thousand years debating. You want out, I want out. It can go on and on. Unless your species are remarkably long-lived, I doubt your body has a thousand years. And frankly, I doubt either of us are going to convince the other of anything, yes? So why waste the time? A simple competition between the two of us. Sounds deceptively simple. Does it? In truth, I've had a long time to think it over. You take your time thinking about it yourself, but why? What kind of competition? I have a little clue to which activities you are superior at. Your advantage with me, I suspect. Best game is the one of the mind, an exchange of riddles. What do you think? What's to stop you from cheating? No matter what's to stop you from cheating, the only thing I can think of is it's quite hard to cheat in riddles. Right, what are the rules? Perhaps we should restrict ourselves from riddles specific to our cultural race. The Kratosaurin. Beyond that, I think... Okay. A rules are rules. So we agreed? Rather physical challenge. No doubt. You may have missed my earlier statement. Your muscles... Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Now, now. No need to be fussy. I seem to be moving fast. It's still because I've had an overabundance of time. That being the case, and seeing as this is technically my home, I'll go first. Until I measure, I'm not known. Yet how how do you miss me when I have flown? Until I am measured, I am not known. I'm going to say time. Yes, yes, yes. I suppose that was an easy one. Perhaps I should have used this all the time. Think of harder riddles. Fair, fair. Saying you. Your turn. Um, does it matter? If you break me, I do not stop working. If you touch me, I may not. Let's try this. What does root says nobody sees? It's taller than the trees. Up, up it goes and never grows. Not grow. It's a mountain. That's that's it. Very clever. I was ne I never was, yet always will be. I am never seen, yet always come. I carry nothing, yet hold much for some. Tomorrow. Nice. You have the right of it. Tomorrow it is. You heard me before, yet you hear me again. Then I die until you call me again. An echo. It's an echo. It's very clever. All right, my turn once again. Who makes it has no need for it. Who buys it has no use for it. Who uses it have no knowledge of it. Actually, I remember this one. It's a grave, isn't it? Yes, it totally is a grave. I remember this one. That's it. A grave it is. Likely never see one. Fair is fair. Your turn. Each ship is five crewmen and crewmen five pets. How many in all are flying to Dantuin? That's not really a, that's not really a riddle, is it? Flying to Dantuin, I meet five ships. Each ship is five crewmen. 
Each crewman five pets. How many? Uh, is that just one? No, I've never given numbers. Five to side, add the one. No, no, no. Is it just one? It's one. I'm the only one flying to Dantooine. Yeah, exactly. Fool, I've been fooled. You've won. It appears my destiny is to be imprisoned. Are you ready to return? What's your name? I've completely forgotten. Try to some way to get you out of here. My people made it quite certain escaping these prisons was difficult. Hmm. Alright, I'm ready to go. Alright. So now I think we can actually go back out. I'm just gonna go myself. YOLO. Alright, now I think I can still bring the package to him. I'm gonna check. And he'd be like, I don't believe you were. So you can still get money. I'm pretty sure of it. And I'll do the persuade. I'll try and save again. Ibrinko prapra. Whoa, where am I going? Sorry, I'm like dreaming. There we go. See, that's one thing as well. Okay, I'm gonna save. Not on the exact same one. I'll do this. There. I have a box. Never mind, you open the box? No. Smart women live longer that way. So you're expecting some payment. I want more. There you go. Thank you. Done deal. How easy. Back to the Ebon. Well, that was successful, and I'm excited about that. Litzburg, Pennsylvania, guys. Let's get out of here. Because I think all that's left to do, we've spoken to everybody. We'll actually be talking to those guys, the Rakatans, as well. Let me actually open this up. Jolie might have some time. Juhani, we've done. Candyman, he's done. Mission's brother, can't do anything about that anymore. Bastila, that's currently what we need to do. Quest for the Star Fees, eh? Yep, Karth, that's done. Worthy of it. No, we don't need that. Pazak, the way of the Sith. Oh. Well, I did, but I killed them. So, yeah, we're pretty much square. All that's left to do now, guys, is fly to... Wait, wait, where is it? There, the Starforge system. That'll be next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8K. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. And if you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then... Let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. May the force be with you until that light takers. Yeah. Feeling beta on my heels. I'm throwing lightsabers. Yeah, you might make it. Choose